Hi, this is Shubham from Movie Studio, and today in this podcast, we're gonna discuss about market indicators. What is the meaning of market indicators, and why famous and established market indicator, namely breadth index, volume of transaction, confidence index, relative strength analysis, and odd lot theory. If you want to read the full article about this, and the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Movie Studio. Now let this. Discuss what is a market indicator. A market indicator is a quantitative tool that is used by traders to interpret the financial data in order to forecast stock market movements. Market indicators are considered a subset of a technical indicators, but the two share a fundamental differences. Market indicators are calculated in the same way as a technical indicators, which is by applying a statistical formula to a set data points in order to drive a ratios or formula. Basically, market indicators are key indicators to forecast a market based on theoretical, technical data. Now, let's discuss the five famous market indicators. The first one is a breadth index. It is an index that covers all security which are traded in a stock market. It is computed by dividing the net advance or decline in the markets by the number of issues traded. The breadth index either supports or contradicts the movement of a dojo average or a any other averages which are leading index of the markets if it supports the movement of a dojo averages this is considered as a sign of a technical strength and if it does not support the average it is sign of a technical weakness let's consider for example a stock market where 450 shares are listed in one session the price of 290 share rose and price of 160 share fell the breadth index can be calculated by the difference of these shares Divided by total sin, that is 290 less 160 divided by 450, which gives us approx 29 percent. We can summarize this breadth index as a market indicator, which indicate volatility in market based on advance decline in the market's respect with number of issues traded as a whole market. Now let us discuss the second indicator, volume of transaction. The volume of a share traded in a stock market provide a useful clue on how the markets. would behave in the near future volume is an important characteristic that include the bottom of a many charts volume is used to assess the strength or conviction of buyer and seller determine the security bias some technicians consider volume information to be a crucial if volume increases during the time frame in which price is also increasing that combination is considered as a positive and the two indicators are said to be a confirm each other the signal would be interpreted to mean that over the time more and more investors are buying in the financial instrument and they are doing so at higher and higher prices this pattern is considered as a positive technical development conversely if volume and price diverges for example if a stock price rises while its volume declines the implication is that a fewer and fewer markets participants are willing to buy the stock at a new price if this trend is a volume continues the price rally will soon end because demand for the security at higher prices will cease thus the volume concept is based on another market indicator such as dow theory so we can summarize the volume as a market indicator which indicate the total amount of a strength as well as weakness in a security the third market indicator is a confidence index the confidence index is the ratio which is calculate investor determined to assume the additional risk during the investment the ratio is the average yield to maturity of bond yield confidence index is calculated as a average of yield base grade bonds divided by average yield for intermediate grade bonds to arrive the value the parents will divide average yield to maturity of a parents base grade bond yield listed by the average yield to maturity of its intermediate grade bond list over here you need to understand and the two important aspects of a bond market the first one is a yield and second one is a grade bonds and intermediate bonds these we will discuss later stages in the podcast over here we will only take consideration of a index the rising confidence index is expected to precede in a rising stock market and the fall in the index is expected to precede a drop in the market if you want to read the complete information about this in the read our article and the 
the link of article is provided in description to summarize the confidence index as a market indicator this indicator indicates volatility in market based on investor risk capital in the market with respect to the yields of the bond the fourth market indicator is a relative strength index rsi relative strength creates a point of a comparison regarding to the performance of a particular security let's say a reliance industries limited against the performance of a selected benchmark such as index sensex nifty as well as other securities the relative strength concept suggests that the price of a some security rise relatively faster in the bull market or decline more slowly in the bear market and the other security investor will earn a higher return by investing in security which have a demonstrated a relatively strength in the past because of a relative strength of a security further the investor can apply a relative strength trading to a more than a security and mutual fund but also for the classes of etf fixed income commodity sectors and so on the rsi is calculated as change in a stock price divided by change in a stock index for mutual fund the rate change within nav for a specified fund is calculated over specified period of time we can summarize this relative strength as a market indicator which indicates the volatility in market based on the change in a security price with respect to change in index now let discuss the fifth market indicator odd lot theory odd lot trades are the trade orders made by investor that include less than 100 shares in the transaction or multiple of 100 these trade orders order generally encompass individual investor which the theory believes are less educated and uninfluential in the market overall the odd lot theory uses the analysis of odd lot traders as its basis the primary focus on the trade orders is less than 100 shares 100 shares is called a round lot its premise is built on the notion that odd lot trades can be counterintuitive to the market trend therefore believe in the odd lot theory six to trade against a direction of odd lot trade thus when odd lotteries are buying these shares theory would indicate a signal to sell shares and vice versa so these are the five market indicators famous now let discuss what is a bottom line over here market indicator is a data driven tool to forecast the markets the most used market indicators are brief index volume of transaction confidence index relative strength analysis and odd lot theory each market indicator is a different and used by various investor based on experience and data point if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist view thank you for joining with us for this podcast over here shubham from monist view signing off